Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 35 to 36. Due to Webtoons policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode. So yes, cat logo is going up or else my channel will be get taken down. And we're not risking that again. So with that being said, uh, if you guys do want to support me, I do have all my reads on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Here you guys gain early access, not deal with the censorship, especially for contents that are horror, mystery, and a little bit too much on the romance side. And of course, Calogo Blurs. So if that's something up your alley, definitely check it out. Let's go ahead and get started because this read got really dark and really sad. Gin is to be sent to Master Crip's house. Is that so? Yes, his grace is collecting all the blood that had been sold, and he's entrusted Lady Sersha with the interrogation on other indirect descendants. They both left yesterday. As for the affairs in the residence, her grace has organized everything with the estate manager. And Selfie? Oh, he's lying up, has he not? When he first came to the house, he was rather glum, and but he's changed, thanks to her grace. How school? Have you made a lot of friends? Yes, I think so. Anyway, it would seem Auntie left as soon as she came back. Uh, I believe the carriage is ready. This way, please. My in-laws are obsessed with me. <laughs> Episode 35. Master Cripps is the one who helps settle family affairs. Please don't worry about the blood that got out. Everything will be con confessed in just a matter of days. Or it may have been already. Huh? Just what exactly does Cripps do? I can't believe there's someone who does such work for this family. We usually don't go for this far, but for this particular incident, it was necessary. But this bastard, the more we dig, the more we learn about him. He even beat his servants. The family didn't know because we he only hit them where the bruises wouldn't show. Gin threatened them with their confidentiality clause, so they couldn't tell anyone either. I hopefully I said that correctly. Confidentiality. <laughs> this is simply absurd. He, we should have known about this so much earlier. The letters of recommendation is finished. What about the compensation? Yes, I calculated the budget as written here. The Lapillians were very busy for days. Even I felt swamped, although I was only helping out. Oh. And Isleti's registration as the family was approved. How fortunate that it all went, it all went smoothly. Oh, it did? Gloria took care of both the documents to add Isleti to the family register as well as the rumors related to the matter. The Lapillians announced that they miraculously found the lost child. Well, this is something that needs to be reported to the Imperial family. It's truly really fortunate that someone of her status came forward. If I had been in charge, I would still be arguing with the Imperial secretary to get it through. And I already have a heavy workload. I'm so thankful that both of you are here to help. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sh sure. Oh, she's so cute. As Letty's condition has gradually improved, she's now well enough to go out for a stroll. Good morning, my lady. I'm Rebecca. Uh, Perry? Perry? I let her call me that. And there is no need for formalities when you speak to us, my lady. All the written proceedings are now completed. When the Grand Duke and Lady Sher shall return, they are going to hold a party for Esleti, becoming a part of the family. 
but I wonder if it's going to be all right like this. Lady Slutty Falme has all returned. Preparation for this party seems to be finished. Shall I escort you to the hall? Oh, she looks so uncomfortable. Hmm. No need to be so nervous. Your family will be there. They're going to be real nice to you. Welcome. Uh, huh? Huh? Everyone's wearing masks. Oh, hello, Eslati. <laughs> that gown looks wonderful on you. I'm Shusha, and this is Thirdeal. We're your relatives. Did you know this? No, no, no. My son was in charge of the party, so... It's Letty. Huh? Oh. It must have been Selfie's idea. I'm glad it worked. Mm. Oh. Hmm? Thank you. I've seen you from afar, and finally I get to see you up close today. I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to you. We are at fault for not finding you until now. I imagine it would be difficult to forgive us, but do you think you could accept us as your family? We're we'll protect you so no one hurts you ever again. <laughs> Splendid. Is there anything you want to do, Slutty? Oh. I can't tell if he's looking at her in like admiration or just concern or like suspicious, you know? Next one. Did you hear? There's going to be a tea party in the garden. Is that so? Well, bet we better make the preparations then. But why are they holding a party all of a sudden? They've never held a party before, and yesterday too. It's probably because of the young lady who just became a part of the family. Much better than having the flowers covered in dust. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Oh. Episode 36 Today, we are going to have a tea party with a slutty. I, I want to see flowers up close. Let's go see them tomorrow. Summon the housekeeper. What she wanted to do most was go and see flowers. Selfie school is on a holiday, so it would be a good opportunity to make good memories. But, oh, the Grand Duke is coming too. I thought he was busy. Oh, what about the others? They're busy. And you're not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hmm. I, uh... Well, uh, you go first. I'm sorry. Back then, I think I may have gone ahead of myself and pushed you too hard. I want to apologize when you returned. Finally, I can apologize. Don't. I'm at fault for not making a reasonable judgment, and what you said wasn't wrong. Rather, it is I who should. Your Grace, over here. Let's go. Is Letty is going to stay here for good, right? For now, we'll have her stay in the house and see that she gets an education. And Venus said he wishes to stay with Slutty. See? 
I was right. Oh. Oh. Don't. Let's go. Oh. <gasps> She's smiling. Oh. Is it alright for them to be running? What if they fall? I'm here, so it should be fine. Medicine box. <laughs> oh, are we going back to the Grand Dukedom now that the parade is over? No, not yet. I see. We haven't resolved the problem with the rebels yet. That's the reason why I was called here in the first place. But if we end up needing to stay longer in the capital, we can make a trip back in the middle sometime. I shall let you know when the time comes. And I won't force you to come with me either, rest assured. Whatever the case, I shall uphold the promise I made in our contract. I know that you're taking good care of me. Batch told me. Ever since my mother came by the residence, you had someone follow her. I didn't know what Schiff was talking about back when he kidnapped me. You see, you're not the only one who can hire a tail. Thanks to you. She was attacked. Uh, it seemed I only make shameful decision in your presence. Oh, but that's not what I meant. Uh, the flowers. They're coming in. Beautifully. And have you talked with Esladi? You've come this far after all. Not to mention you're the one who found her, Your Grace. Let's go. For a moment, I just... I just wish, like, right now, I just wish, like, maybe he's starting to fall for him. I mean, for her. Was that? Was that a hint? Was that a hint? Okay. It's really sweet. I like these two reads. Mm. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, check out my other reads, and definitely if you guys want to support me, definitely check out my Patreon page. Alright guys, bye!